Hello! Welcome to part 33 of Let's Play Dark Souls. Picking up right where we left off. Uh, we just activated a shortcut. Um, now that I'm not rushing for time, we can actually take a second here. Um, I believe the bonfire was over in that direction. Maybe over there. I don't know. It was somewhere. <laughs> um, if I need to, and if I die, we can uh, worry about finding our way back. But for now, let's uh, continue on. Let's go ahead and talk to this mysterious guy over here and see what his deal is. Hmm. Ah, let me guess. Snatched by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the past. That is what happened to us. Yes, of course. Exactly what happened to me. We are both strangers in this strange land. But at least now there are two of us. All right, so yeah, he is a merchant, so he will sell us some things. Um, more of just like a supply, like most of these things you can buy elsewhere. Um, I think the only thing worth pointing out is, uh, I think it's the Lloyd's Talismans. If, uh, I don't know if this is the only source, I forget if the Undead Merchant sells them as well. But um, in case you killed the Undead Merchant, for reasons we'll uh, talk about in New Game Plus, um, you can buy them here. Um, I might stock up on some more bones here, not that many, but... Get six, let's say. Uh, and then humanity is handy as well. Should probably use these green blossoms more, but I don't care that much. It's got plenty of arrows, got plenty of other stuff. Stock up on arrows. How about that? Just dump our souls. Just in case we need a lot. Let's see what else he has to say. Did you happen across Knight Artorias? The legendary abyss walker from the old tales. Well, if you haven't, it's just as well. He's a Colorless sort, if you ask me. <laughs> so, what did that giant mushroom make you do? Not that I care. It's none of my business. <laughs> so yeah, this guy's kind of funny. He's just sarcastic. Bit of, a, bit of an asshole. Hmm. I've little to talk about, really. Oh, you know me. What do I know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> super smug and all that. I think uh, that's all we get so from him. So long. But uh, yeah, the reason why people can have it, there's a theory that he's from Bloodborne is because you know the, the shadowy arm can drag you through time and space. So dragged him from Bloodborne world. But at the same time, he knows about the legend of Artorius, so it's like he's probably actually from our world. Um, now let's see here. I think uh, we came in from one of these. I think it was this one, which means over here is just going to be a, another shortcut way down the road. Um, so just remember that when uh, we activate it. But yeah, that's about all there is. Uh, let me go investigate over here, just in case. I feel like they hit an item over here. Usually, if, the, if your gut ever says there might be something worth exploring, it's probably because there is something worth checking out. Um, oh, look, there wasn't. All right, either way, it's time for the boss. Um, and this is one of the coolest bosses in the game, I'm going to say. Uh, let's just get to full health. Why not? And uh, good luck to us. I'm sure I'm probably going to die at least once here. You thought that little guy was the boss at first. Whoa. But yeah, we are fighting the man himself, Artorius. And he is a tricky boss for sure. He, um. Well, I guess. Oh, okay. I might just focus here because if I try to talk about a bunch of lore, I am gonna not do so good. Although our weapon is strong enough that he's doing. Okay, yeah. He, uh. Oh, okay. I thought he was doing his charge up there. 
Anyway, Artorias is really cool because, as you can tell, he uses a great sword, but he also is like jumping around a lot, a lot of uh, rotational flippy motions. Be careful, get some quick attacks in and then back up because he will like kind of blow up. And then now he's gonna do more damage. And be careful because I think he might also take more damage now. Um, either way, ow, wow, almost killed this. So one thing I did there, I don't know if you noticed, but um, hello, ow. He uh, you can you can like chug multiple times from the Estus if you press it while it's still at your mouth. Okay, oh my god, am I gonna do it? Am I gonna do it? Oh look at that, we got him. All right, well that's the Black Knight Harbor for you. Anyway, come on, Artorius should die at least once there. But uh, we get the soul of Artorius for our troubles and um, a lot of souls. So uh, we will give a bow to our man. He gives us uh He's one of the Knights of Gwyn, right? So he was the source of the um, the wolf ring that we've been using like this entire time. And um, let's uh let's read the soul, see if we can get some more information about him. The soul it should be right here. Uh Soul of Lord Gwyn's knight Artorius, who was consumed by the Abyss. The legend that Artorius repelled the Abyss only told half the story. It seemed that he was defeated and his honor preserved by some unsung hero who is the true victor over the Abyss. So yeah, um, let's take a second here now that we're not <laughs> pressured and fighting. Let's sort of talk about what we just witnessed. So Artorius, as you could tell, he was, um, he's was he been infected with the Abyss. It's corrupted him. He's like just a puppet at this point. And uh, like, uh, what's her name? The mushroom lady said, uh, once the abyss took root in the Ulusil here, Gwyn, uh, he sent Artorius to sort of handle it. And um, unfortunately, Artorius wasn't able to uh, finish him off. And as the soul said, he was put out of his misery by an undead hero who is us. It's a, uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> um, and that the true victor of the abyss was, uh, was us, was that undead. Now, um... The legend does have it that Artorius, you know, he's the Abyss Walker. He's the one that took on and destroyed the Abyss. But as we saw, he succumbed to the Abyss. He was defeated by the Abyss. So I wonder who is going to have to do all that. And considering this is DLC, it's probably going to be us. Um, oh, yeah, so right here, this is Gazebo. Um, I won't, maybe, uh, okay, maybe I will just go in here. I don't think this does anything, but this is like a multiplayer kind of thing. We got the purple carrots crystal. That's in case you want to leave, but... Yeah, the Battle of Stoicism, uh, this is something we might mess around with once our build is complete and we're in New Game Plus. But it's basically like a PvP arena kind of thing, and all these messages are uh, just developer messages telling you how this works. Uh, yeah, we're, we're not going to mess around with that just yet. Um, up this way, though, we're going to find some stuff. Um, do -do. Uh, nothing we can do up here just yet. Um, I won't go there because I think there's a ladder. Or maybe, okay, the locked door might be below the ladder. Uh, yeah, so this door is locked. So obviously we can't go in there yet. But if we listen carefully. It sounds like someone's hard at work on something. Um, so yeah, once we, uh, we'll talk more about what's going on here. Of course, once we get the key. So in the meantime, now we need to actually... Uh, Make our way into the level. And if we head down here, go to the left, if my memory is correct. And we'll see a bonfire. And again, this is a bonfire that I think is worth kindling. So let's go ahead and do that. In fact, this one I might just straight up kindle twice. May as well, right? Like we got that. We got the right of kindling. We earned it. And um, the good thing is, once uh, in the next area after this, we're going to have a good opportunity to get a lot of humanity. So, no need to be stingy. So let's reverse our hollowing. And then we will uh, do the good old double kindle. And you'll notice too, so pay attention to the bonfire, right? Like, see it, see the flames, they're like, kind of small. Once we kindle it, the flames get a bit stronger. And um, that continues as much as we kindle it. Alrighty. And, um, yeah, with that, we now have 15 Estus, which is uh, going to definitely see us through this next area. 
Um, oh, yeah, I should probably level up too. Don't want to die. Once again, we'll just keep getting our endurance up. Um, yeah, so I burned through a lot of the soul items. <laughs> I had to burn through some more to get this thing upgraded. Since um, it does, even though you have the Twin Twin Titan, you still have to spend 2,000 souls per upgrade. So, um, yeah, we don't have too many soul items left. Um, oh, yeah, so uh, those, that thing that Artorias killed, and those are going to be the common enemies of this next area. They're just like, uh, basically what the Abyss did to Artorias. Um, he was strong and he was holding up. But like for just you know your average people, it's gonna it's gonna do this to you. <laughs> so it's uh, kind of similar to chaos in that regard, right? It's that it mutates you into these disgusting things. Um, so yeah, we're low on souls, but I'm sure we'll have more soon enough. And just like all enemies, you know, they're not too bad, but their danger comes in swarms. And those long arms of them do does give them some large reach. Um, oh wow, we got their head right away. Awesome. So they can drop uh, and large head. Wow. These guys are cooperating for once. Very nice. Um, so yeah, that head, I forget if there's something special about it. But um, head of the Ulus frozen in his humanity went wild after being devoured by the dark of Manus, father of the abyss. So yeah, Manus, he's actually the source of the abyss. And um, we'll be uh, seeing some more Manus down the road. I don't know if you heard those screams there, but that's just the ambient noise of this town. <laughs> uh, the bloated head is fissured, the cracks limited within the tiny house with heart. No sane person would ever wear it. Well, guess what? We are no sane person. Oh yeah, look at us. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna keep that. We're gonna put on our helmet again. Um, but yeah, I guess the screams are because there are technically survivors and this place is still like it's zombie apocalypse mode. I mean, we don't ever see survivors, though, so... Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of screams, as you can hear. Um, but yeah, this place ain't too bad. We should be able to just... Oh, should be able to take them on. As long as we're smart about it. Uh, once the other enemy type is... Which I think we'll see in a second here. Once they're around, we're going to have some more trouble. Um, oh, okay, hold on. Before... Oh, I almost just walked off. <laughs> Before we do that, um, I actually want to equip Cast Light, that spell, because I'm not sure if our Sunlight Maggot is going to work for a certain thing that'll be coming up, which hopefully we'll get to in this episode. Uh, so yeah, real quick, let's backtrack. Do magic, set the fire orb, we'll just cast that. Okay, um, let's go back here, and then this guy will be back. So yeah, they are kind of stupid because like that guy right there, they'll just like point and laugh instead of attack you. Some more large titanite shards that we don't need. Um, yeah, not too much more to say about my area yet. Oh, oh, oh yeah, one fun fact that I don't want to forget about. Um, Artorius, he's right-handed, but during the fight he had to use his left hand because his right hand was broken. So he was still that threatening without his dominant hand. Um, you know, that being said, we did kill him on our first try, though, so... <laughs> Probably not too threatening, but at the same time, we are using overpowered um, Black Knight weapons, so I don't know. Go figure. Either way, let's... Uh... Okay, right here. Yeah, this this lady. Um, I don't want to kill her right away. Um, let's... Come on, do something. Do something. Yeah, she will... Okay, she won't just do that, but... Um, she will cast uh, magic. Yes, shoot dark fire at us. Um, so don't get hit by them. Um, do I hear footsteps? I hear a lot of footsteps, but I don't know if they're coming for me. Let's get that. Ah. I knew it. Thankfully, we have double kindled our bonfire. And we can burn through all the Estus we want. Um, but yeah, so the way that the Abyss magic works, anytime you see those like dark attacks, um, the mechanics of those is that they're not, it's like split between physical and magic damage, right? So uh, normally if you shoot like a magic fireball at someone, just like any of those like soul blue glowing things at people, um, that's just pure magic damage. So if you're fighting someone that has a lot of magic defense, then your magic attacks, of course, are probably not the best choice. But with um, dark abyss magic, since it's split to be physical, um, It'll also 
it can go around their magic defense because typically it's like very rarely um, i'm not gonna jump there um very rarely are you gonna have to fight someone that has really good magic and physical defense um so yeah nice uh, sort of utility there but anyway right here this is what i was talking about uh let there be light so i'm curious here if I... <gasps> okay i was trying to close out the message there and i hit b and that of course it calls the back step and i did notice that guy was running and there he is so let's just take care of that first so let's see if our um, sunlight maggot works for this oh it does awesome okay so i didn't need to equip cast light but anyway this is like an easter egg area um the way you open this wall it's a it's an illusory wall but it's like you can't just smack it like the rest of them you have to start you have to make a source of light um and so your only two options are really the sunlight maggot or the cast light spell because the skull lantern only works in um in the tomb of the giants i don't know if this is a mimic it's not okay good but here we're gonna get the silver pendant and this is the coolest useless item in the game um you put it on your use like these and it deflects dark so uh, one of the ancient treasures of anilando presented to artorius for facing the abyss effectively deflects the dark of the abyss especially in its magic form so this is cool um like if we have it equipped and we hit x we do like that whole thing and so if we time it just right that one of those magic uh dark things come at us we can press that and it'll reflect backwards uh the downside though is that i don't think it actually like reflects it back at the enemy to do damage to them so <laughs> and then the thing with it is that when you're fighting them um by the time you like do the whole animation and are recovered you can't move during it but um they'll cast another one and you're just kind of stuck there um <laughs> it basically just is like pointless but super fun um it's more of like a lore item right like it's what artorius had to face the abyss with um so anyway yeah, this part also confuses me because i always get disoriented but i think we want to go back in there and i recall that down here is going to really suck because they got multiple mages i think ah. and then oh yeah see and i'm dead great yeah, so this might not have been a bad use for that thing. Um, but yeah, the problem is exactly what happened, is that you get distracted by this one, so you charge in, and then the other one hits you, and then, you know, bad times. So let's make our way back. Um, I'll probably just cut and meet you there, actually. Okay, oh, oh, forgot about you. Forgot about you. So let's do take two here. Um, and I'm going to use another one, because I do want to be at full health for this. Uh, yeah, so let's let's try the silver pendant. It's gonna take like a second there. Let's see how well this works. Oh, there we go. Looks like the... Oh, it actually lasts for a second. So maybe it's not as useless as I said. <laughs> um, definitely... I mean, like, they, they give it to you and then they set up this situation for you to use it. Is the thing. Um... And I think it's just that like there's not going to be too many more spots. Uh, and that being said, I will keep it equipped. Let's see how useful it is. Um, this is an interesting area because there's these two treasure chests that are just open, and it's not really implied what was in them. Um, this is gonna make, no, it's not. Here we're gonna find I think our first. Oh no, this is dark orb. Yeah. So if we want to shoot those uh, those dark orbs <laughs> ourselves, then there's the spell to do it. And then that'll take us out here, which is a whole lot of nothing. Just a good view. A good view of the abyss. Um, so let's make our way back up. I think uh, there's one more thing. I'll try to squeeze in for this episode. I'll try to wrap it up soon. Keep this one kind of short. Since uh, last few... Oh god, hello. Oh, nice back set. <laughs> I think... Oh, it's cool. So we get a carving from them. Uh, that's our first carving. These are really cool. Um, if you ever in multiplayer just hear people talking to you, this is what's actually happening. Um, instead of that, we'll this on uh right here i'm sorry carving so watch this you just use it i'm sorry and yeah <laughs> there's gonna be a few more carvings we'll find throughout the dlc here but yeah anytime like if you're playing online and you just hear them talking to you somehow uh that's how they're doing it uh they're uh it's i don't even know what's going on with them. <laughs> it's like it's a wood carving and um 
it's for some reason when you throw it on the ground it shatters and makes the noise of what it is. I don't get it either guys, but um, that's just how it works, not necessarily why it works. Um, now as far as getting back, I don't remember exactly where to go. Um, I feel like it's up there somewhere. And there's the bridge there. See, so yeah, that's. Oh, yeah, I think there is like a stairs up in here, right? Yes. Right? No? Oh, yeah, here. Okay. This is how we get back. Oh, hello. Yeah, and then we can just do some of that. Get the item, and then we're done with this little sidetrack here. Perfect. Um, I think can we jump here? And then. We make our way back up here. Yeah. Alright, cool. So yeah, let's, uh, um, oh, no, I need to be human. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, it's fine, though, because I have enough souls that I'd want to respawn anyway. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just homeward bomb about that. Uh, thankfully, we did earn a humanity during that ordeal somehow. I think the way it works is that if you kill an enemy that's, uh, killed a player in another world, and then you get humanity for it. I think I think that's how that works. Not totally sure, especially because I'm not online right now. I don't know how that would work either. Um, not that endurance. Um, but either way, we got. Sometimes you'll get humanity from killing enemies. Um, just keep that in mind. So let's make our way back down one last time. Just get this guy out. Take these ones out. And take out the left one. And beat out the attack, maybe. Or just go on the offense. Okay, very nice. Moving on. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna charge. Gonna circle wide. Ow. Didn't work. I forget if sprinting makes you take more damage, <laughs> so that may not have been the best choice. I'll uh, take out the one hiding here. I like the Black Knight Halberd too, by the way, because it seems like, as opposed to most weapons, like a lot of weapons I think would have done that right there, but um, as you saw, our attack actually went through, which was very nice. So anyway, the invasion will start right now. Um, as soon as it happens, get back up here. Um, this is the guy who we were talking to before, and he is interesting. Um, so he's got he's got that giant crossbow and he'll throw those and he does this cool yeah he's got like a spin kick there which is really awesome but we're gonna just finish him off um so yeah marvelous chester invaded us because he's um not a cool guy i guess <laughs> he's he's cool he's a cool character but he's not a cool guy um not a big deal though um, he went down fairly easily. The problem, though, is you'll you'll see the invasion. You don't know what's going on, and like you, you might just like rush ahead. But then he'll be up there with his crossbow, and I don't. If you run down that way, I don't think he'll chase you. I think he'll just smile at you up there and just peck at you with his crossbows. Um, either way, let's uh, wrap this up. Let's fight this um, mimic here, and that'll be our we'll call it a day there. And real easy. Yeah, Black Knight Halberd, plus five. Oh, what a beautiful weapon. So let's see here. And we get very good carving. This is yeah, this is the one that's the real meme-worthy one. You just you get invaded by some guy that's cosplaying as, like, just something really gross and weird. And then just kill you, and then just spam this. Very dead. Very dead. Okay, yeah, top spicy Dark Souls meme. Anyway, um, let's, uh, let's call it there. Guys, you know the drill. Hope you enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun watching it, making it. I hope you had a lot of fun watching it. We'll continue on our descent into madness, which is there's always another descent into madness. <laughs> Once we finish one, there's gonna be another one next time. But either way, this is our current descent into madness, one of the largest descents yet. So let's see where this where this abyss takes us. And um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. So long. <laughs>